Sia o no? Ok. Tic. I don't know why he builds beautiful instruments, so I have no clue. So we just grabbed one and tried it. This is Matthias from? From Bass Art Guitars. Bass Art Guitars. You have to yell because these very, very rude people are all loud. But the mic's picking up some things. So he just told me the price of this 
insane guitar that I've been playing for five minutes, which has a six position switch, six position switch, um, where you have humbucker, humbucker, humbucker positions and then single chord positions. It is an absolute work of art. Wooden rings, it's got a bass art, it's not a Bixby, what, what brand is this? Duesenberg Tremolo. Duesenberg Tremolo with a bass art, little plaque in here. I mean the woods, insanely beautiful, so it is, wow. Um, the inlays are very original, very cool. We have a maple binding, so give me a price guys, what do you think? Because I know how much it is now. Well, obviously, but you know, based on everything we've heard here. Hey, you, why are you guys going so low? Three, three seven. Three seven. I think that's a ridiculously low price for this instrument. When I saw the pictures on Facebook, yes, I follow this man on Facebook. Um, looking at the top and everything. I immediately thought, okay, we'll probably be more in the six to seven thousand euro range. That that was my assumption. And um, you've, you've just heard it. These are ah, they wood, right? Very nice. And we have what well, obviously a two-piece mahogany back. Bubinga. A bubi I love saying bubinga. That's just so cool. A bubinga. Then we have. I'm gonna say rosewood. Yes, Santos, Santos rosewood. Okay. Rosewood, and then a, a thin maple strip in the in the in the middle. We have um, maple uh, binding. The fretboard. Don't tell me. Is I'd say rosewood. Rosewood with um, abalone. Rosewood with abalone. Uh, inlays, beautiful base art, pointy thing. Um, what's the nut? Oh, a graph tech nut, which is probably a good idea with the big speed style tremolo. Now it's sound. I mean, it's a hollow body, so it obviously has the the openness. And I even described it. Uh, it's, it's got that very attacky kind of high end. So I'm on humbucker now. And now I'm on single coil. I love the options. Which sounds very bitey and attacky. But of course, we're playing through crappy Marshall. I mean, come on. You know, play that through a good amp. I'm gonna get shit for this so much. I'm sorry, you Marshall fans. When, when do I ever play Marshall? I'm actually pretty impressed because this one doesn't sound too shabby and it's probably because it's red. Middle position. Tuned, but I mean, if it's that pretty, do we really need to tune it? Probably not. Uh, when I'm doing, I have to tune here. I made it worse. Now I broke it. Do I have to buy it now? Probably, huh? Do I have to buy it now? It's not in tune anymore. I broke it. I broke the tuning. I just bought this guitar, right? Yep. Damn it. That's insane. It's made for, right? That's a metal guitar. Cut 
cut through your mix, then that's what you have to do. But be careful, the people in the first row, they're gonna lose your, their ears. But yes, it's a work of art. It really is. And I was extremely impressed. In drop D, I thought this is called a complete bullshit, especially with a wooden bridge like that and a big speed, but I don't think it is. What do you guys think? I mean, we're not gonna go super diesel VH4 fourth channel, super high gain, but it's got chunk, it's got balls. And I absolutely do not think that this is in any way overpriced for this guitar, which I now want. Damn it. Wow. Um, Matthias from Bass Art. He's got more guitars, a lot of them, right? You sell these even. Yeah, yeah that's what he does for a living. Um, what's your website? BassArtGuitars.com? No. De. BassArtGuitars.de? BassArtGuitars. Uh, it's right here. I'll figure it out online. BassArtGuitars.de. Loads of nice ones. Um, from what I've seen, a lot of times, very down to earth, straightforward, simple, right? You, you. Only recently I've seen more guitars with like kind of porn tops and stuff. But because usually you had very straightforward kind of more more simple designs. Let's put it this way. Yeah, poor rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. So how come the 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 more elaborate tops now? Just. I don't know. I have an idea. Like Try, trying new things, moving forward. Well, I like it. So check out the website, and um, he's, he's, he'll come by at some point, and we'll check some things out at the studio whenever I have time. And you know, it's crazy, crazy. Um, I like this. So follow him on Facebook too. He's got a Facebook thing. Hit the little, you know. And um, see you nutsos later. Thank you.